Welcome back. This is the point of news. So now, how rich are you waiting to become before you start helping the community around you? How big must your house be for you to welcome and accommodate strangers in need? Tonight, KTN's Fatma Pole brings us the story of a woman who for the last 23 years has been bringing in from the cold street children and bringing them up as her own. Take a look. 56-year-old Masi Tuo puts on a brave face. She understands that she has to be strong for these children. Now the only mother they know, Masi holds the newest member of her big family. Alidetua askari wa pangani wakiwa patro usiku. Wali mpata pumuani hapo inje kwa barabara. Na ui mtoto wakiniambia aliwekwa kwa katasi ya nylon, akawekwa kwa barabara, diyo awongwa na gali. She has named him Moses and just like the biblical one, Masi says this boy will be a leader. Wakaniambia wanaenda kuadika kwa ubi, baka waleo wajarudi kwa hivyo ilikuwa mziko kwao. Na mimi siyo mziko kwangu kwa sababu mine sikia kulea watoto. Each child here has a story. Ian from Bomet, Nandi County, tracked Mama Masi down after he heard about her from fellow street children. Uyu mtoto alikuja aki kwa gari kama mzigo, baka Nairobi. Masi Thuo's story is not new. In fact, she has been referred to as Kenya's version of Mother Teresa for her efforts in saving street children. Starting off with only six children she sheltered in her backyard, she eventually turned her residential house into an orphanage. We came for the first time and we saw how Mama Masi has been helping the children and the community at large. She feeds uh, the poor from the co in the community, in the neighboring community. If you are sick, she takes you to hospital. If you have children and they, you can't afford school fees, just bring them here and she gets school fees for those kids. So for me, that was just compassion at its best. But the irony is that unlike other orphanages, this house is little more than a shack. The walls made of corrugated iron have seen better days. There's no water or good sanitation. But still, this is the only refuge these children know. Nikagudua ya kwamba, gap of poor and rich is very wide. Nani ataarete closer and closer. Me and you with a good spirit and a good heart. Other than those she teaches in the single classroom, the rest are taken to local schools in this lorry. It is, however, hard to ignore the danger that lurks around for the children. Children she single-handedly takes care of, sometimes with the help of local volunteers. Like this year, to me poreka 38 from one. She niyo, niliona, ya yukiti, wings to fly, ana poreka, ana 2,000. But mama masi, Ana convince watu wa Kenya, wanalipia watoto wanafika 38. Eric, who has completed his university education, is now job hunting so as to secure a better future for himself and that of his many brothers and sisters. This is the only home he has known since he was six years old. Before this place went up in flames in January this year, this room behind me is the exact place where Eric, one of the beneficiaries of Good Samaritan Home, used to sleep. Now, Eric, tell me what happened. It was 2 o'clock in the afternoon when uh, we had just finished having our lunch, when we heard screams from upstairs. Um, we later came to, know, to find out that it was a child who had matches, playing with matches. Uh, who, started a fire, who started the fire upstairs. We were able to fight the fire before it spread to other rooms, but we could not salvage anything from this room. Mama Masi has been forced to share her room and even her bed with the younger children. Some sleep in the corridors. With the accommodation crisis, it will have been easy for her to just send some children away. She, however, continues to receive at least one child every week. It is better than outside. Nobody will harm them. Wako na mama anawagalia. Wako na mama wanajua tukiamuka mama ako. As long as her heart keeps beating, she says the doors of her heart and those of her house will remain open. Mimi gependa wajegeo yunyumba, wakaya nyumba, ina nyumba nzuri, ina rangi, 
kila mtoto kila rumu ikuwe na watoto kumi sio watoto dhati watoto kumi kumi wao na tables zao za kufanya eh, homework na wao na basi sio kirori kama ile wananyesewa wana ukiwauliza watacheka sababu watachekaga sababu lazima saa kumi na nusu waamke saa kumi na moja wapate kirori na unajua atapata eight sio mmoja Using the inadequate resources, she has been able to build a safe haven for these children and the damage caused by the fire is just another challenge they hope to overcome. Fatima Poli, KTN Weekend Prime.